Ooh. You know what, y'all? Some of y'all, uh, <laughs> this is so insane. Um, and I hate to even talk, uh, uh, uh D's and R's. But you know, instead of doing these cheat sheets and I mean revealing things that um, show that Joe Biden is on, um, well, he's declined, and that he's in the beginning stages of Alzheimer's. Instead of doing that type of stuff, it's crazy that you wouldn't be spending more time trying to uh, have somebody represent both parties. Because if this is truly to be a two-party system, you want the best candidate, right? You you can't even say that for the 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 R's because they're just they've become a group full of uh, whack jobs, okay? And then you got on the other side a person that's seen out um, as a representative, but you know how they do—they go back and forth, back and forth. This is the political theater that. You know, after being on the planet long enough now, I've seen how the game go. It's all crazy, okay? Uh, and they're probably going to stall this whole thing out until November so um, the, the, the R's can come into power and then they can just shut all this other stuff down where everybody is supposed to go to jail. Now, it, it, you know, it's all theater. When, when, DT came in and they said that he tried to threaten the Ukraine. Well, quid pro quo. Remember all that? Remember the twice impeached? Um, all this stuff is insane. And it's insanity, right? And some of y'all can be very easily convinced that all oh, other countries go through this too and just listen. When <laughs> When you know you got a bunch of thieves and bandits sitting up in here and nobody can um, actually be arrested yet. Maybe I'm speaking too fast. I don't want to. But what I do know is you don't help your cause by showing Joe Biden, you know, in his cheat sheets because he can't remember stuff. The man is old. And instead of you trying to find somebody that will categorically at least be something that can energize and move the people. Y'all don't have that because you're full of dead man's bones. Okay? And because you don't have anybody that can spark any kind of life into the people, you're going with this man. And here's uh, uh, um, somebody got a quick, I mean, real zoomed in offshore wind drop by sequence of events. You enter the Roosevelt Room and say hello to participants. You take your seat. Give your now this is definitely a deep briefing. You give brief comments, two minutes. Uh, you ask Liz uh, Schuler. Um, and don't forget to breathe. Now, what type of crazy shit is this? What in the world is he that deteriorated at that point where somebody done zoomed in on his? Cheat sheets because he don't really know what to do or what to say. And of course, we know you have to have a blueprint, but to tell them to don't forget to breathe, I mean, oh, Jesus. It, it's like, okay. It, it, okay. I, I mean, I'm just America, America. God shed his grace on me. Because this is too insane. Anyway, you know, they this this is insanity. They got to don't forget to breathe, Joe. And anybody, I'm not trying to be funny because it's not anybody who has a parent or a relative or you know somebody or you work with people who are deteriorated mentally. It's really one of the hardest things that you have to go through. Um, I, sometimes I, you know, I, you know, I don't understand how I, um, uh, and the rest of us deal with this. And I guess from a personal perspective, it's one of the hardest things you can do is watch a family member deteriorate. 
Um, and so to watch Joe Biden leading the country, he fell off a bike the other day. You know, it's like, but he's in good shape that he can get on it. A lot of people half his age can't even get on the bike. But still, at the end of the day, his mind is gone. And, you know, come on. Who you going to run against him should be the question. Who, who Or who you going to energize to, to so he can sit down and they can lead the Democratic Party. And when are you going to be allowed to clean out, first of all, all the Congress people who are white supremacists that we can have a legitimate two-party system? Because that those should just be the questions today. And who will be the candidates? We don't got much longer. You know, Nina Turner, maybe she should run for president. Because they, they, you know, she's not a corporate hack, so, you know, good and well. Anyway, I'll see y'all in the next video.